Doctors in Mississippi and Boston discovered a baby born with HIV was cured almost by accident. And research into this remarkable case will be, will be discussed today at a medical conference in Atlanta. The discovery was made at this Jackson, Mississippi Medical Center, where the HIV-infected mother and her baby were treated. We have, um, perhaps inadvertently, but in fact, uh, cured the child. But the case is a bit of a puzzle. After birth, the child was given three different medications to aggressively fight the virus. At some point, doctors lost track of the mother. One year later, they discovered she had stopped giving her child the medications. After the baby had missed several appointments, uh, we started looking for her. They eventually found the mother and her baby. And then the clinic ran tests to see how much HIV was still in the baby's blood. Doctors found no trace of the virus. My first thought was to panic. I thought, oh my goodness, I have been treating a child who's not actually infected. But after lab work was checked and double checked, doctors from Boston and Baltimore were brought in to begin research. I think we were both incredibly surprised. So now at two and a half years old, doctors say the child no longer requires any medications. Now doctors are trying to replicate the drug regimen. They hope their findings will help other HIV-infected babies, so they'll no longer require lifelong treatment. The research that started with a mistake in Mississippi will be discussed at length today at a conference in Atlanta. If this indeed was a cure, it would be the second time in the world. The first case involves a man who had both AIDS and leukemia, and the bone marrow transplant that he was given for the leukemia also took away any traces of the HIV virus. It's <sighs> always these ones that sort of, that, 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 that break the mold that you have to really zero in on, and this right. is exciting stuff. Doctors believe that the drug combination and the timing may right. have been what happened because the, the virus didn't have a chance to reproduce. That's right, and this is significant because even though in the United States we've made enough advances where testing for HIV has become part of the prenatal regimen for pregnant women, around the world in 2011, 300,000 children were infected wow. with HIV. That's an incredible amount. Can you amount. imagine if we stumbled on a way to save 300,000 oh, children? Oh my goodness, AIDS and cancer. Come on, scientists, we're gonna get there.